Hi, everybody. Okay, so tonight I thought we would just try something a little bit different and do a wine tasting with a pro tip. So first of all, this is a Robert Keenan Cabernet Franc. It's a 2016. Now, Robert Keenan, I'll get that up there. You can get a good look at it. Robert Keenan is a wonderful little winery that is tucked way up on Spring Mountain in the Napa Valley. And it's unpretentious, it's, it's just great. Great prices and incredibly good fruit. In fact, this one comes from the Upper Bowl Vineyard, which is, you know, I mean, it's kind of cool. We were up there and we saw, you know, where this has grown. Now the grape is a Cabernet Franc. Uh, now Cabernet Franc is not Cabernet Sauvignon. They're not even that closely related. But it's, a, it's the grape from the Loire Valley in France that they make a wine called Chinon from, C-H-I-N-O-N. -N. So if you're ever out and you can get, and you're looking at a, a list of French wines, and you see a Chinon from the Loire Valley, not only is it really good, but it's generally really, really well priced because most people don't really know or look for Chinon. In fact, when I go to like Total Wine or a place like that, they've got two in the whole store. They got 50 or 60 Cabernet Sauvignons or 100 or 102, I don't know. They got two Chinons. So you can look for those. But again, this is Robert Keenan. And, and I mean, we, Diane and I went there, why was it last year? It was a rainy day and they let us picnic out there and, uh, and the whole crew was up there. They were tasting wines and they were blending. I mean, it was, it was kind of cool. And uh, uh, so if you're ever in Napa Valley, go to see Robert Keenan. It's just an absolutely fantastic uh, winery. And uh, I don't know, you'll just really love it. I was just trying to see if they had, if they're telling me anything more about it. I think it might be 100% Cabernet Franc. So it looks like it is. Uh, and so also it says this is their 40th vintage. So been around a long time, really good wine. So what I would like to do is give it a try here. And let's just talk about it a little bit. Okay, there so you can see it. All right, so of course you gotta aerate it, gotta swirl it out. I haven't done much with decanting this, uh, primarily because you know you gotta wait whenever you decant something, and plus, yeah, whatever. So, all right, cheers. Here's to you. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Uh, I really should have sniffed it, by the way, beforehand and gotten some of that aroma. I'm just really into having a glass of wine. Uh, I've been, been really reducing my consumption lately. So anyway, that is awesome. So again, it's really dark. Uh, it's, you know, it's tannic. It's 2016. I think if this sat for, really, if it sat for half an hour, it would smooth it out. But it doesn't need much smoothing out at all. I mean, this is a really good, a really good uh, glass of wine, a great drink. Now, here's your pro tip, though. I want to show you something else. I'm right now at my house in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is 107 today in Las Vegas, which is just the way we like it here. But this is something called a vin glacé, V-I-N-G-L-A-C-E. You can get a chance to see that up there on that screen. There it is. Okay. This is like a little thermos for a bottle of wine. So you put it in there. You put the lid on. You know, and screw it in, and it, sometimes it doesn't go down all the way, Some, depending on the, the shape or the height of the bottle of the wine. This one's made um, pretty good. Now, I'm telling you, if you are out and it's, and it's hot outside, and you've got a wine, you want to keep it about the same temperature as the, as the uh, uh, cellar that you keep it in, or wherever you keep your wine, and, uh, and I like mine just a little bit cooler, I, this will keep it cool for hours i mean it's just when of course okay maybe it'll keep it cool for hours uh, you know it usually doesn't last that long whenever you're hanging out cheers with me but it it, it keeps as cold as long as uh, we wanted to keep it cold so look a vin glace go ahead and pick one or several of these up um, and especially, you know, with your white wines, you bring them out, you know, instead of trying to figure out how am I going to keep these cool and, and really great and all the ice and all the rest of it, put it in a vin glace and everything is A-OK. -okay. So from time to time, we're going to start some wine tasting. We'll taste things from all over the world. If you have any questions, you know, just 
send me a message and say, hey, Rem, I got questions about this particular winery or uh, Cabernet Franc or any of this stuff, uh, just let me know. And I'd be happy to answer it. I'm no expert by any means, but I do uh, uh, like wine. So there you go. All right, everybody, uh, to your health and really, really to your health. Cheers.